Hey guys, we are here today to actually give you a tour of the whole shebang setup that we have, which includes the garage and the studio. Um, no one's really asked for it, but I figured I wanted to do it just so people know kind of what they're looking at, what they're seeing, and all this equipment that I have that you just might get an idea for yourself of what you want to buy, you want next, and just kind of what we're working with here. We have upgrades planned for when we buy a house, but buying a house isn't in the cards right now, so we'll get there eventually. But first, we're going to start with the garage. So this is the garage with good old Elsa right there. Got a lot of stuff. And by a lot of stuff, I mean a lot of stuff. We're actually going to start by going this way. That's the car. This bench normally isn't here. That's stuff that has to go back to the church. Um, but we've got my spare parts bin, box from ARM, and then some woodworking stuff, a heat gun, wood, sander, a cookie tin that actually had cookies in it that I ate all of them. So good. And then some more spare parts at the top, the IE intake uh, box, a torque wrench, electric one that my friend Ty sent me, super cool, that's a box for it, my racing helmet. Uh, that is the intake that I had for the Nissan Xterra that I was going to put in at one point, and then I flipped it. Then there is the stock intake on top of our exterior freezer um, that's been pulled out because we got the IE intake in now, which is pretty sweet. And then this corner is just kind of a jumbled mess. Uh, here's the lights that I like to use. Um, so these are just pretty powerful, pretty good lights. Uh, some of the bulbs are going out because you can't really see it, but they're all different bulbs. They're just shoving in this corner. Most of the stuff is actually going to be shoved over on this side that doesn't pertain to the car, including a lawn mower just in the middle. It's electric. It's pretty sweet, actually. Because I film everything kind of from this direction, as you guys kind of see a lot of, just because that looks better with car parts in the background and stuff than some kayaks. Plus the window pushing light this way is better than shooting into the light. We've got all our camping equipment off on this side. Got a huge, Look at this huge tent. What does it say? 16 feet by 16 feet. The thing is stinking huge. We love this thing. 12 person tent. Love it. And there's just some random sports equipment and stuff down there. Then on this side, they got the funnel in a container of oil just so it doesn't drip all over the floor, but it already has. Uh, my wash bucket, the Harbor Freight Jack that I have with an oil pan. And then we've got the stock exhaust from my car. It's been pulled out and removed and just kind of sits here as decoration. Um, and we've got some jack stands. A lot of people have been wanting me to use those, so I started using them a lot more. It's become habit now to just use them. Then we've got the old 21 millimeter rear sway bar that is out of the car. And then this is probably what you're more interested in right here is this whole section. So this is actually a TV stand from Target that we ended up repurposing as, well, originally it was actually in the uh, laundry room that we had because we messed up the backing on it and there were nails poking out and we didn't want it out and about. And it was like also like on sale, so it's no big deal. Now it holds all my tools. I've got a Stanley set that I've had ever since I had my Audi. I got some funnels down there. It's kind of organized uh, a little bit differently. This is all of the parts that I have for the car that are gonna going to or were going to go on at some point or spares. That's old parts. This is spares. And then down beneath, just miscellaneous kits. And then I've got this tool chest that my friend Alex gave me. On the top is all my wrenches and stuff. I know it's a little dark in here. Got some Pittsburgh wrenches. I got the Schwaben flare nut wrenches for brake work. And hopefully gonna be using those soon and some other fun stuff. And then underneath, it's a little bent, is wrenches and sockets outside of that Stanley kit that I have, and just any sets like that, plus my Allen keys. I will use those decent bit. Got a nice step from, sorry, oh goodness, I've been choking something back the entire time. Got a good set from Stanley. That's got uh, the Imperial and the Metric, just two different kinds. And then this is also Schwaben. This is, I'll get it in the light and show you one. It is one of the security torques. So if it wants to focus, I've got the hole in it so that you can do undo any of those security bolts that have those. Pretty nice. Have a lot of stuff from Schwaben. And then on the top, I've actually got some power tools. 
Don't have many. I have this Craftsman drill. It's just a normal drill, regular drill. And then in here is the torque wrench that my friend gave me. Let's open it up. Where are you? That's the inflator that came with it. Here it is. It's actually a little bit heavier. Nice Milwaukee M12. Don't focus on that, focus on this. And then, pretty sweet. I have yet to use it yet. I'm excited to use it at some point. But this is gonna go back in there. And then over here, uh, this is basically lubricants, paints, anything like that that goes up here, Loctite, anti-seize compound, anything that I might need to grab random times. Got the rubber mallet, rubber mallet. We love the rubber mallet. All this stuff. Oh, that's just some brake fluid from when I did the stainless steel brake lines. Still sitting there, haven't done anything with it yet. Then up here, we've got the shop towels and this little section right here is all of my cleaning supplies. I've got a lot of chemical guys stuff. I've got this little blaster right here that fits on the end of a garden hose. Uh, I use it more as a soap delivery method as opposed to an actual snow foam cannon. I know people are like, but it's not a snow foam cannon. I'm like, I know. I don't use it as a snow foam cannon. I use it as a soap delivery method so that I can then scrub it down with some of this other stuff. And I've got, honestly, these Armor All products I've actually had since I had the Audi. I just haven't used them much. I've used them a lot more. And then I got some nice leather gloves, a bunch of rags in case I spill some oil. And then down here, I've got the ramps that I'll probably never use again. Fun stuff. And that tool chest is empty. That used to house absolutely everything that I owned until I got a little too much stuff now that I can't fit it all in there. So it all goes on there. And that's really the whole garage. Uh, we're looking at a three person garage, hopefully at some point in the future, just so that we can have a bay for my car, a bay for the project car. And then one of those bays is actually gonna then become the office. And speaking of the office, we're gonna head over to it right now. Across the house. Brad, say hi. What up? That's our intern. And then here is the office. The light on and everything. It's another one of those lights. It is a uh, Westcott spider light. This is a TD5 and the other small one is a TD3. Uh, this is kind of my streaming setup with the Hot Wheels wall in the back. We'll actually go over here. I'm hoping at some point to go through a lot of these on Hot Wheels highlights. Uh, that's going to be about 300 plus episodes of that. It's quite a few, if you ask me. Then here's my chair that is unfortunately already breaking. You raise it up and then it instantly goes right back down. It's fun. And this is my setup. That's my mic right there. I got some Hot Wheels cars and Legos cars on my desk. Legos is not plural. I don't know why I said that. Then I got all the drives from the weddings that we shoot. And then can't show you too much of that screen. The one on the right, because that is our friend Josh Corson with some unreleased music. Go check him out. He's super cool, country music singer. Then over here, we have the gaming station, although this is the, the rudimentary one on the little 32-inch TV that still had the RCA cables for the PS2. I uh, got a bunch of Lego cars over here. A lot of ones my friends gave me. I light a candle in here sometimes, too. That's the PS2 with a Lego k -trim on it. And then down here is all of the games for it. And then... This is my favorite of them all. I've also got Carbon and Most Wanted, Simpsons Hit and Run and stuff like that. Racing games, I think, were on the left. Unfortunately, when I had those in my dorm, the pipe burst over Christmas break and they all got wet. Not enough to damage the PS2 or the discs. They all pull out MVP. Kind of see, they're all little wilted, uh, Shadow of the Colossus is a good example. They just got a lot of water on them. It's unfortunate. Real sad. Uh, but they still play, and that's what matters. And here is actually the tires that will become a table for me. I have it mocked up and kind of set where I'm going to have it so that I can just have a little table with extra stuff over there. And underneath is my computer. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Had some Coke Zero. So this, if I remember correctly, is an i7-9700 core with a, a GTX 2060, or whatever the initials are, 2060 graphics card from Zotac Gaming. There are two terabytes of SSDs in there. 
32 gigs of RAM. That's gonna get upgraded to 64 at some point over the summer. Um, what else is the important stuff? Really it. I mean, it's a really good computer. Works really, really well for what I do. Love it. And then we've got the mini fridge with the printer over here. It's got some rain and then some Coke Zero and some Gatorades in there. Love it. All the stickers on the side. And then over here on this shelf, so that's where we came in. That's my computer. This shelf is where I charge everything. The GoPro's just chilling there right now because it'll need to get charged at some point. And that's with the big battery. And then this, it's gonna get a hot, uh, hot Wheels highlight soon. It is a super treasure hunt. Don't know if you can see the TH right there. So nice, it's the only one I own. That's why it's in the case. And then door, and then if you look over here, this is all of the camera equipment. We are currently on the Fuji X-T4 just because it has autofocus and image stabilization so I can walk around and do this a lot easier. The other camera is a Blackmagic Pocket Cine 4K. I absolutely love it. Got all our lenses over here. They're organized by focal length. So that one right there in the back is a 12 millimeter. I'm on the 23 for the Fuji and then three lenses bunched up right here are all 35s just because we don't like the SLR. And that's a 50 for the Fuji as well with some filters and stuff all around it. Underneath is miscellaneous stuff. Those are the suction mounts that I use. They're fat gecko suction mounts, I think, for the Fuji in the car. Plus some other stands and stuff. And then there's a small monitor that I don't use anymore. And then we got some bags. We've got the Pelican case that's repping all the stickers. That's our new light kit that we just got that we're trying to use. Uh, the ones like this got relegated to the garage now. This one is more taken out on shoots. It's a light panel kit, not from Astra but it's just LED light panel, which works a lot better. Closet with a bunch of stuff in it, some decorations, a lot of stuff pertaining to Maine. Um, it's the main flag over there. It's a thing that says Maine right there. It's my old license plate from Maine, Maine route. And then 207 is the main area code. It's a picture of me and my wife, Hannah. So cute. Space needles, some other stuff. And then down here, these are some of the extra Hot Wheels that I have. Like I've got an extra draft nader treasure hunt. I've got an extra deep treasure hunt. I buy some of these as potentially to sell later. Um, maybe one day there's a, there's a box inside the closet that holds more of these extras that haven't gone on the wall. Then we're gonna open this. And if you look, it's kind of dark in there. Just a lot of boxes from all the stuff we've bought and just kind of hiding in a closet. It's not the ideal setup. But you know what, this works, I get the job done. I'm pretty happy with how all this goes. If you guys have any suggestions on how you think I should lay things out, um, I just moved the desk a little bit ago so the desk is kind of staying where it is against the wall. Uh, Cause I'm sure you recognize this angle right here. It's when I streamed for a little bit. I'm gonna get back to it at some point and then do anything uh, direct to camera. I'll sometimes do it in here which makes it nice and easy to be able to do that well seated. Microphone right there. But if you have any suggestions on how I should lay anything else out and what I can do with some of the stuff that I have, or if anyone wants any of the spare parts, I'm willing to sell them. Um, unfortunately, it is a sell and not a giveaway. We're not that rich yet. YouTube doesn't pay me that much money. Maybe we'll get there one day. I'd love to, it'd be fun. But just let me know in the comments. Um, this is my setup. This is all the equipment I have. It's pretty cool. Well, anyways, guys, I just wanted to say thank you for watching if you made it this far, because I know it's pretty boring. Um, we're at a bit of a standstill with the GTI. I know this is information I probably should have shared earlier, but working on getting some parts. Things are just getting expensive. Uh, we're having to really adjust our budget, and I haven't been able to get as many parts as I would like. So we're, we're doing some other stuff in the meantime to get videos out for you guys and to keep posting and building a community of really awesome car guys who love Jesus. So really just... Thank you for watching. Go Maine. Have a great day. Please subscribe. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.